I just got this in and I'm excited to look at it. I saw it on the internet and um, it just brought back so many memories. I'm a 80s teenager kid. I was a teenager in the 80s and uh, one of the big things when I was a teenager were these things. Well, this is not the actual one. I wish I would have kept my old one. I had a, a JVC, huge one. The Master Blast of Bluetooth Boombox. It's not the same as um, the one we used to have. The JVC one I had was huge. It took 12 or 15 D batteries. The thing weighed 30 pounds. The thing, I mean, it was really heavy. Um, I used to use it. I used to be a break dancer uh, when I was a kid. I used to break dance with dynamic rockers and dynamic breakers, scrambling feet, uh, you know, a bunch of crews. Um, you know, not with them, but I would go to places like Roxy's and Farmhouse and stuff like that, watch them break dance. I knew a couple of them. Uh, you know, I knew um, some really great break dancers, Float, Bam Bam, uh, Spinner, uh, my brother who passed away. Um, he was a uh, he was in uh, Dynamic Rockers. His name was New Wave. His nickname his his real his real name was Lewis. His nick his other nickname was Louie. Um, and uh, we used to break dance all over the place. We used to have a great time. I um, mean, Roxy's Fun House, Skate Key, um, Skate USA. Uh, wow, there's so many places we used to go to. So we used to have this outside, and we used to set up the cardboard box, all the linoleum floors. Um, grew up in the projects and uh, used to put the linoleum floor in the lobby and uh, start breakdancing on it and everything. It was pretty cool. So I'm really looking forward to opening this up and checking it out. So let me see what's in here. This is everything in here. This is going to be, oh, a cigarette lighter. I don't know if it's rechargeable batteries or regular batteries. You're gonna find that out. This is the power plug, the regular 110 outlet power plug. I'm assuming it's rechargeable now. Instruction manual. Uh, man, it's a lot smaller than my radio, that's for sure. Uh, it seems to be a lot lighter also, much lighter. I couldn't hold my old radio with one hand. I used to skate with my radio too back in the day. When skating was out in the 80s. I used to be dancing in the 80s and go to different... Um, Skating rinks, it was fun. I don't even know if they have those anymore. Ah, it's okay. Thought I'd be more impressed. I mean, it, it's trying. So let me try and see how it works. Let me uh, just do a video around it. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, rechargeable batteries. Yeah, because this is the plug right here. So you recharge it here. Uh, let me see how it sounds. An antenna. Okay, this brings back some memories. Rabbit antenna. Well, not rabbit, but one single ear. Let me do some close-ups of the item. video of the actual adapter if you ever need a new one you know which one to buy okay and this one has nothing okay that's the bottom
This is the top of the radio. Okay, it's the front, some tweeters. I'm assuming these are equalizer lights. I like the radio thing. Brings back memories with the radio dial. Uh, here it goes. When I first started listening to music, I listened in my uh, dad's car with these type of dials. You know, it, the car radio was with this type of uh, line and you pick the station and eight track tapes, eight track tapes. <laughs> uh, CDs were way off in the uh, future. I remember, saw, I remember I saw a documentary on the future of CDs and how they were going to take over uh, video and audio. I said, no way. And how much you could fit on it. All right, let me charge it up. Turn it on, show you around while it's on, and play some uh, things. All right, I'm charging it up, plugged it in, and there's the charge light. Okay. Okay, finished charging. As you can see with the green light, it looks like it's fully charged. So let's unplug it. Okay, so it's off right now. Let's put the radio on. Tree Journal, which has seen a draft of the executive order, the president will sign something that directs federal agencies. So to that's the an volume. Research and education. And that's the tuning. Enforcement of the First Amendment. Okay, so let's switch to. So I guess auxiliary is for um, speakers. And uh, oh, I guess you could connect something with the USB here too. I'm sorry, over here. USB to play. I wonder if this will play off of a USB. I'm going to try that real quick. Um, so let's do the, uh, let's do the radio. Oh, CD, USB, there it is. So we're doing CD. And I'm playing my favorite, uh, music from my favorite podcast. Oh, look at that, look at the equalizer, nice. Wow, look at all the lights, let me turn off this light. Look at that. That looks great. That is so bright. That is cool. Right, I don't know why the CD is not playing. Oh, I may have to press CD. Hold on one moment. Let me find the play button up here. There it is, right here. So I'm playing track one, it looks like. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gets with. That's from the CD, and this is the auxiliary. So let me get a USB stick with some, uh, uh, I'll copy the music from my favorite podcast onto the USB to see how it plays. Anyway, that was the CD, as you can see. Had to play, pause. The typical. Oh, look at light shows. Let's try out playing, right? And let's put on the light show. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new day. Like it's with. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new day. Like it's with. 
Yeah. So it looks like the light show either turns on the lights and turns off the lights. That's it. So, all right, let me get a, a USB stick. So I got a uh, 32 gig formatted FAT32 and some MP3s in there. So let me see what happens. Basically, the way you play the US between the USB and the CD is you hold the CD pause, the CD USB pause play button, which is uh, right there. And that'll change. So let me just show you how that changes. So right now it's set at USB. If I press the button and hold it, it'll switch to CD. See? Nothing in there. Pre press and hold again. USB comes up. And that's it. All right. So now it's going to play the USB stick. I gotta press play first. You've got mail. You've got mail. All right. So it's playing a couple of the files. So there are MP3s in here. Um, sounds pretty loud uh, for a small radio. Uh, well, a larger speaker than the uh, usual speakers we're used to in this day and age. Um, we have, uh, I think I've shown this already, the treble... The bass and the balance. You've got mail. It's pretty cool. I like it. So, let's try it at its loudest. You can brand new day, brand new daily gives with. The worse your life. I like it and it's gonna be fun to take this to uh, different functions um, back in the day I would go to Brighton Beach and have my radio um, I don't think they do that anymore everybody wears earphones uh, but it'll be a great conversation piece in my home that's for sure um, you know uh, people of uh, the 80s <laughs> 